Hi everybody, I'm going to make another soap on camera for you. Today's one is going to be a blend of frankincense and myrrh essential oil with some red mandarin essential oil and then a tiny, 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 tiny bit of sandalwood fragrance. Um, and I mean a tiny bit, it's only just to give it a lift and give it some sweetness because mandarin on its own is really nice out of the bottle but getting a sort of sweetness from that to stick it's actually more of a bitter sweet scent to me and getting that to stick is quite difficult you know so you've got a soap that actually smells really sweet so I've added the myrrh which is quite you know there isn't too much scent to myrrh well there isn't today <laughs> with my nose because I feel like I'm getting a cold in fact I'm pretty sure I am um, so yeah, frankincense as well is quite a bitter scent, so I wanted to just do something with it that made it sort of bring up the sweetness a little bit. So the fragrance oil is like just a tiny, tiny amount. I think there's like 8 grams within my fragrance blend of about 45 grams, so only a small bit. The rest is going to be essential oil. So with this one I'm going to do like a chocolate, I'm going to use some Green and Black's organic chocolate powder. And then I've got these sticks from the soap I did last year, which was another frankincense and orange soap. I'm going to shove those in. And also in here, I don't know if you can see, yeah you can, some frankincense resin and some crushed dark premium amber resin. So I'm going to put that on the top. So we'll see. So I'm going to sort of do like a drop swirl if I can. But I'm doing a double batch so it's going to be tricky to film it but I'll do my best. So let's just see if I can bring this to a light trace. not really to trace. Okay, I'm just gonna pour some off of the chocolate colour. just so busy and things get to you when it's like this but you know but I think I might add just a little bit of charcoal because I want that sort of almost blackish dark chocolatey colour if you see what I mean we'll see if that will do anything let's have a go It's like a really, really like a dark, dark chocolate brown. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. That's lovely. Okay, that. Anything with chocolate and soap smells so horrible. When you first put it in, I don't like the scent at all. It's pretty grim. Now, to make things a bit easier for myself with the pour, I'm just going to pour this into this and hopefully it'll all go in. Yeah. This big one is okay for mixing, but it's not really okay for pouring. It's quite a flimsy sort of, as you can see, it's a really wide mouthed jug. It's great for mixing things up, but yeah, not for 
falling into little moulds. I'm only using my test batches again, but I'm doing, doing like a double batch. I can just get you close enough so I can work and let you see at the same time. It's going to be tricky with this mould. Okay. You should be able to see okay. I will aim you down some. Just bear with me while I mix in the essential oil into the main portion. We need another spoon. Okay, I'm shouldn't accelerate too much, but you just never know. Okay, you want to just pour it in, like that, and then in that one. thickened a little bit, I don't know why it shouldn't do, but then that fragrance might make it go a little. I'll just put it into, rest into the chocolate portion. Sorry, you probably can't see this, but it's just fragrance going into the, the next bit. Yeah, that sandalwood definitely, definitely creates a bit of a problem. As you can see, it's thick. I didn't want that to happen at all, but you know. Go as dark as we can. I'm just going to bang it now a bit. some nice high tops on the tops. That's a lovely colour, that dark chocolate, isn't it? I think it's uh, Joanna from Product Body. She's got a picture of a soap which I've recently just put on my Pinterest. I've got like a Pinterest page of like board of uh, perfect soap photography <laughs> and uh, there's one that she's done of a, I think it's a Java coffee soap maybe, I'm not sure, but there's a picture that I've pinned and it's just so gorgeous, the colour is so dark and just lovely. I wish I hadn't used a fragrance now, but there you go. It ain't going to look like I wanted it to. Grr. Isn't that so annoying when you've got something planned and then it just goes a bit tits up? <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll just swirl this in. It'll be okay, but I'm just not. I wanted like a proper drop swirl. I'm not soaping hot either, I've had that cooling down quite a bit, so... Oh, bloody fragrances, they enough to drive you around the bend. I've never really used that one before either, so I didn't know what it was going to do. I've used it in other stuff, but not in soap. 
I just wish real sandalwood oil wasn't as expensive as it is. It's one of the oils that everybody loves. Well, I do. Okay, that'll do for now. And then let's get our resin. Sprinkle it on. This smells so incredible. It's like all over my fingers. I've got this scent of... This deep, that deep amber is just my favourite, favourite thing. I never burn it at home. I never, like, want to waste it on a charcoal disc. <laughs> I should do, really, because the scent is just to die for. But it would create quite a bit of smoke, I think, because it's so soft. Oh, my God. It's so good. Oh, just amazing smell. Okay, now let's... I need my little ruler. So, I can just get... Nine... Sticks. We start this end. Very quiet in here today. I haven't got the radio on yet. I've just been sort of chilling out because everything's so hectic at this time of year. And we've got so many orders to go out and sometimes I just like it quiet because I can cope a bit better. Like I've had my sister helping me this week with packing orders, which has been brilliant. She came in yesterday. She's going to come in again tomorrow for a longer time tomorrow so I can get on. And make more soaps because people are crying out for remakes of different things and, you know, just got to go with it. But at, at the moment I just can't do everything. So, yeah, it's really nice to have some help. And I knew it would come eventually, you know, that I would need it, but it's all good. Okay, so there is our frankincense and myrrh soap finished. I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but... um. I'll come up with something. See if you want to see it closer up. Yeah. So it's nice and sort of dark looking. Okay, I'll see you through that. <laughs> I will see you for the cut.